Hey YouTube. I got a question for you today. Why? I think we all know that we should love each other. We should be kind. We all, all have that innate sense of um, purpose in life to be kind to other people around us and to do good as best as we can, to be good people for the sake of people. And I would say that that is the sense of morality that God has given to all of us. And I haven't heard one atheist justify their morals yet. But I want to move away from that for this video to ask the question, why? What is the purpose? What is the value of life? When you, when you claim to lack belief in God, where are you left with meaning, with purpose, with value of any kind? We don't need a book to tell us right from wrong. God's put that in us. We disagree on how that came about inside of us. We don't need a book to know that God exists. But God gave Christians a book to know why and what the purpose is and the value of life. How we got here, where we're going, all for the glory of God. So my question to you who lack belief in God, what is the purpose? What value do you possibly have? And I, I can anticipate, well, I want to be kind to others for the sake of our species. But who says that that's important? Who says that that's important? And if, and if, you, if you're saying you get value by loving your children and your neighbors and your spouse, who says that they're valuable? If all of this world universe that we know is 14.6 billion years old, if, if you're fortunate enough to live a hundred years, you do realize that that is point zero 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 six eight four per of a percent of all of the time of all time that has supposedly occurred without God what purpose is life what value is life do you actually believe you do not have a soul and that you're you're an empty shell just flesh and blood. Do you really believe that? I think God has not only put morality in us, but a sense that there's more. There's more. And that sense is a, a sense that we need to follow to, to discover the truth that Jesus Christ is the Creator God that was crucified for those who will repent and trust Christ. Before we had this book, now, like I said, I don't need this book to tell me what's right and wrong. We all innately know that. But this book tells us what God has purposed and for why and what, what has value and what doesn't have value. I have that knowledge. I have this truth. I know that, that I have value now and even after I pass. But what does the atheist have? The assumption that, that life is valuable if you're kind to other people? For the sake of a species? Let me ask you a question. Who says that that's right? You know, there's a movement called the Volunteer Human Extinction Movement. If they get the majority of people on this planet to go along with their movement, I mean, there are millions and millions of people who have subscribed to this. 
they believe the best thing is to have humans become extinct because we're leeches on this planet and the planet would be much better off without us. Are they wrong? And if they're wrong, based on your lack of belief in a God worldview, so to speak, based on what justification would you have that they're wrong? What, what value do you put on this life? Who says humans have to continue on? I want to challenge you with that. Think about it. And I'm sure some of you will take the time to respond thoughtfully, and I appreciate that. And for you trolls, you're trolls. <laughs> Enjoy what you do. Hey, it's Tuesday. Have a great day. What is your purpose what purpose do you have when you suppress the truth because you want to do what you want to do and you claim there is no God? What possible value, purpose, and meaning do you have to, to do anything? That's my question for you today. Why?